Well, this week's sports block starts at Sprague Field. It's a great day for baseball as the Raiders, winners of their last three, would host the Rebels of Walpole on Monday. So we head to the bottom fifth, Raiders down by one as Walpole leads 2-1. to one. That is until Peter Stabnick steps up with one out and ties it with a clutch solo bomb to right field, and it's 2-2. Two, two. That 2-2 score would not last long, though, as the Rebels score the go-ahead run in the top of the sixth on a Jack Levanche RBI. But a nice throw by Ethan Murphy guns down the runner at third base. Walpole only gets that one run, but now lead 3-2. But at the bottom of the sixth, Wellesley again finds a way to erase that one-run deficit. Jackson Posnick grounds it up the middle past the infield, and the ball gets bobbled by outfielder Nick Shea, allowing Connor Hempstead to score all the way from second base. Once again, we're tied up here. 3-3 is the score. That 3-3 score would remain as we head to extra innings to the top of the eighth, where the Rebels' bats come alive. Nick Shea makes up for his error back in the sixth inning with a two-run blast deep to left and over the fence for a clutch two-run bomb. 5-3 Walpole. Rebels are not done yet, though, as Kevin Quinn just misses a back-to-back -back blast of his own and two costly errors by Wellesley allows two more Walpole runs. And it's 7-3 Rebels as the Raiders only have three more outs left. So it's the bottom eighth, and the Raiders make it 7-4 on an RBI single by Davis Wall, but relief pitcher Mark Demarius gets Jack Dolan to fly out to end the game. This game was a tight one through seven innings, but Walpole's ability to break the game wide open in the eighth helped Rebels to pull away for good. Wellesley loses a tough one at home to the final 7-4 Walpole. Senior night for boys volleyball would be extra special on Monday as these Raiders would have a chance to punch in a tourney spot if they pulled out a win versus the Braintree Womps. The Womps pull out to an early 5-2 lead here in the first set on a Greg Zacharakis kill, but Wellesley cuts it to 8-7 when Charlie Bolton tricks Womps with the backhanded spike and gets the kill. Then Raiders take the lead for the first time here 10-9 thanks to Charlie Bolton setting up the assist and Andrew Lowe connecting on the kill. And that momentum stays with the Raiders as they extend the lead to 2013. And Wellesley would come away with the first set, beating Womps 25-22. After taking the second as well, Wellesley would set themselves up perfectly for a possible sweep as we head to the third. And Raiders jump out to a 12-4 lead here before Womps slowly fight their way back into this game by being patient, selecting which shots to contest. And after that strategy starts to pay off with the ball going out of bounds, points start going Braintree's way, and now it's only a 17-15 deficit for the Womps. Braintree then goes on to take the lead for the moment at 19-18 when Greg Zacharakis' spike cannot be contested by the Raiders. Charlie Bolton is key once again as Bolton taps in the go-ahead point 2019. And then Andrew Lowe puts it out of reach for the Raiders here, and Wellesley does not look back. Pulls away with a 25-22 win. Raiders get the key victory they needed and do it by way of the sweep and earn themselves a well-deserved turning berth. And so finally, two girls lacrosse, still perfect, at 11-0, had a Harrogate Division matchup with the Dedham Marauders on Tuesday. And to say Wellesley dominated this whole game from the very first draw would be the biggest understatement of the year. First half and barely three minutes have passed by, Wellesley leads 3-0 already. After a quick score by Kylie Noonan makes it 4 0, Dedham has to take a timeout. As this opening half early on is starting to throw major hints towards the Marauders that this is going to be a long day. So deeper we go into the first half, and it's 8 0 Raiders, as Wellesley just makes it look easy here, not letting up on their intensity as they continue to light up the scoreboard. Caitlin Tchaikovsky's back to back scores make it 13 0 Wellesley, and we're only at halftime. Safe to say this game is already over, but we still have another half to go. One positive for Dedham, even though most of this second half is spent in their defensive end, they are finally able to score a goal. The negative? It comes after Raiders have scored an astounding 19 goals unanswered. So unfortunately for the Marauders, this score won't make a dent. Hat tricks by Cecily Doctor and Caroline Bradley mixed in with great four goal games by Kylie Noonan and Caitlin Tchaikovsky. And this game can be added to a long list of runaway victories by these Raiders. Wellesley absolutely crushes Dedham 19 to 1. Well, that wraps up another episode of Raiders Sports Block. Thanks for watching. Wellesley Public Media gets you the coverage you need to catch up on all Raiders highlights. Check us out on demand at wellesleymedia.org, a YouTube channel on Wellesley Media Corporation, and right here on Comcast 9 and Verizon 39.